The organization's director, Filia Nangolo, says it is very suspicious of how the Namibian government went about revealing and investigating several grave sites and revealing the accurate number of bodies found, whom they claim were civilians killed by the Namibian and Angolan armed forces when conflict erupted along the northern border during the liberation struggle. The government would, uh, is so secretive, does not want to, is, to, to, come, to come forth with, with the fact that they have killed people and they buried them somewhere. Nam rights first exposed mass graves in the northern parts of Namibia in 2003, and since then it has been a struggle for Nam rights to have the graves and the grave sites thoroughly investigated. However, the organization demands that those who committed these atrocities should be brought to book and justice must be served. We have specific information mentioning even names of persons allegedly who have taken place uh, a part in, in these, in these uh, killings or in these criminal acts. The Inspector General of the Namibian Police will accompany Namrat's delegation on their way to inspect the Ohawanga gravesite on the 15th of July. Meanwhile, Phil Yanangolo revealed that the organization has issued a statement addressed to the Namibian president, demanding the removal of all executive members from the parliament saying that the members have no business in acting as voting members of parliament. The fact is, members of the executive branch of government have been passing laws, have been behaving as if they are members of parliament and in blatant violation of the Namibian constitution. In case the president failed to remove uh, um, his appointed members of cabinet from parliament, then parliament, that is the uh, National Council and National Assembly, the chairpersons over there, must do so acting in accordance with the relevant provisions of the Constitution.